Okay, so this is the tip of a sectional ladder. This is called the open face. This is called the V-groove. The V-groove works on things like this. So if you want to put it in the corner, because you can't reach a window because the frame is not in the right place, like if you can't put it above something like that, but you got to put it right there or right there. So you can clean this half and you clean that half. That's what this is for, the V-groove. The open face works more like this. If it's a wider area, you can put it right in here and it won't want to slide past. See how that works? Doesn't want to slide past. Same thing with the V-groove. The V-groove fits right inside that deal and you can't, doesn't want to move. See that? Doesn't want to move. But one problem with the V-groove is, or not the V-groove so much, but with the, the tip of a sectional ladder, that if you don't have your feet or the base properly set and you go up your ladder and you put your weight onto one side, the ladder is going to want to roll. And when it rolls, you'll fall off. You don't want that to happen. So you always want your base to be properly set. Okay, so another thing you need to remember about having a, a sectional ladder and the tip, you need to have it covered because the metal will mar up any kind of wall you put it against. Like if you take it inside and you put it against the wall inside, then it's going to scratch up or mar up the wall and make a dirty look or something. Okay, so you want to have it, if you're going to put it above the window, like that there, in that spot, in that spot, so you can clean the glass here and here, here and here, you need to have something like this here on there. Now if you notice, it's been used quite a bit by me. So it sort of like doesn't function no more in that way. But also, when you put it against a beam or a frame or something, it's going to cover and it's not going to scratch up the element that it's on. So another thing that I do is I'll take a huck towel and I'll put it on the end. I'll use a bungee cord type of setup where it's got a pin on it. And uh, so that way, when this thing wears out or I need more padding, this works. Sometimes I roll on two or three of these things. Another thing about the huck towel is that as soon as I use this on the outside someplace, it's going to get dirty. It's going to get dirty. And if I was to take it inside, that dirty rag or that dirty cap part here is going to go against the wall and it's going to dirty the wall. As you can notice inside this place, that wall is white. And as soon as you put this on a wall, it's going to dirty that wall and it's going to make it look like crap and they're going to come in and they're going to see it and they're going to say, oh, what have you done to our wall? What is this all about? And you're going to say, oh, oh, I didn't know. No, no, you're a professional. When you're a professional, you got to make sure you take care of people's property. If you notice, this here is a Ferrari place. They sell Ferraris and so they're very, very astute in all that they do. And they're going to be sure that I do a clean and perfect job. Another aspect of the sectional ladder is the base. Now this is a six foot base. This is what I usually use. I have a four foot base also that helps me with uh, setting it up on uh, other areas that I need a lower ladder. But on this base you'll notice that I have levelers. Now these levelers are the standard. When I pick up the ladder, it goes. It goes with me. I don't have to carry many different things with me. I might have to pick up my bucket, but these, these are lifesavers. They work on different levels. 
like if you have this set up here you can you can set it up so that way on a, on an edge sometimes in rockeries sometimes the staircases you're going to need levelers on your ladder without levelers your ladder is not as functional you need to have levelers on your ladder and the levelers that are attached to your ladder are easier to use and you don't have to carry things around with you okay so here's another tool or device that i use with my sectional ladders they're called standoffs and they fit right into the hole on the sectional ladder and they work really well when you need to have a standoff to work on a building obviously you can't use them on the tip of the glass but if you had a at below the window you could put it right there below the window and you can clean where you needed to clean another thing is it helps with going above a roof you can set it above the gutter on a roof and you don't have to lean your ladder against the gutter which will cause the gutter to bend scratch slide if you're on the ladder and then go off this way you can go right up the roof get off your ladder safely and it really helps out on the functionality of the tip of a sectional ladder can't use it on everything sometimes what I'll do is I'll have it against the building like this and I don't need it there so what I'll do is I'll just turn it like this and now I got the tip where I want it and I can use the tip and it's very highly functional very highly functional that way I can use both sides at once sometimes I don't need it at all and I just take these off sometimes that's all I need is these here so anyways there you go now with these sectional ladders these bases these levelers are real easy to handle I mean when you're moving your ladder around all you got to do is just put your hand down there and push it down here I'm only using one hand so I can't do that but I can also use my foot and I just go whoops hold on there you go see how easy that is you just push it and boom you're, you got it where you want it to be I'm looking upstairs I'm seeing where I'm at now I want to set them down all you got to do put your foot on the lock right here and push it and it goes very simple very easy see how that works all you gotta do is touch it with your foot you're holding the ladder with your hand keeping everything safe and that's how it works I mean these are ex exceptional ladders they come in real handy Something like this, if I needed the ladder, I can go up, I can put it right there, right there, I can do all this, I can do all this, and if this was a three-story building, I can come down and do this part, and then this part, right here, okay? Then I can come down and set the, reset the ladder, and then do this little bit here, if this was a three-story building, which it's not, but... That's what makes them nice. Now, of course, naturally, an extension ladder do the same thing. You can go up to here and up to here. But when you need to have the sectional ladder with the tip, you put the tip right there, you put the tip right there, or if it's even larger, you can put the tip right here. You see? Hold on, we got an emergency happening. Hold on, pull that car over. Pull it over. Hold on, there it goes. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that was city living, guys. City living. So let's get back to our discussion here. So you can put it right here, and you can put it right here. I would laugh at that, but you know, somebody's probably sick. Put it right there. 
you can put it right here. And that's how that works. Oh, what's that there? That's, that's Ferrari, Maserati of Seattle. Oh my gosh. I take you in and give you a, a walkthrough, but uh, they don't like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang up now with you guys. Remember now, if you can, get yourself some levelers. They work really good. If you notice, I got them on my extension ladder, on my extension ladder, and they're excellent tools. You can't beat them. There's other things you can use, like the pivot, but these here work really well. Been using these for decades. Now, there's other kind of levelers you can buy also, the, the level lock. Those are excellent tools also. I've used those for many years on other ladders. So let's get it together. Get your tip covered. Keep it nice and clean. And then I'll see you all later. And be careful while you're working. We want to be safe. Adios.